right. Well, <clears throat> well welcome to COS 312 um, uh, Game Programming with Unity. Let me get a share screen going here. So, uh, uh, the um, you, many of you, I'm sure, have tried to program a game, and you can do this at a very low level where you build a single program uh, that handles all of the details of your game, the physics, the lighting, everything. Um, higher level approach to this is to use a game engine or a software developer kit. Uh, and there are a lot of these. I've got links down here to huge lists of uh, game engines. Um, most game development companies have their own in-game, in-house game engine. Uh, but there are a number of uh, uh, available ones. Um, a lot of these are proprietary. Uh, the, the companies uh, only make their game engine available to their employees, uh, or they can be expensive to buy. Um, but a number of really nice game engines have uh, either personal versions or free demos or whatever. Uh, often the, the demo or free version has some limitation that uh, in, entices the developer to uh, pay some money for the pro version. Uh, and Unity uh, is like that. Unity has various different uh, uh, plans. Um, these are links to uh, the Unity site, uh, where to download uh, Unity Learn, which we'll be using a lot. Uh, uh, a first day tutorial for what to do when you're in Unity. And should you happen to want to be in Linux, there's links here for where to find uh, Linux versions of Unity. Um, the, in, in Unity, the personal version, which is what we'll presumably all be using since we can't afford the $400 a year for the plus or $1,800 a year for the pro version, uh, actually has all the features. It's not disabled at all. Uh, this was not true back in Unity 3 and 4, but it's it's true now since Unity 5. Um, one of the nice things about Unity is it deploys, that is, makes a compiled game that you can then sell to uh, uh, just about every platform, Macs, PCs, Linux, iOS, Android, Blackberry. Uh, you, you can actually compile for WebGL, which will play in a browser. Uh, Xbox, PlayStation, and I'm sure there are others. Um, the personal version has the limitation that uh, that you don't get to make your own splash screen for the game, the opening scene, and you're also limited to a hundred thousand dollars a year income. Uh, the Pro and Plus versions do have some features, things like cloud builds, where you can compile your game on their servers instead of ours, instead of your own. Uh, and you get to, of course, design your own splash screen. And there's no limit on income. Um, here's the license agreement. Here, here it is, $100,000 for the use of the software. So you can't make too much money, but you can. Sounds like a lot of money to me. So uh, what Unity is, Unity uh, is a comprehensive uh, game development platform uh, where a lot of the programming is abstracted away by the user interface. Uh, it handles a lot of the details for you. Um, it's sort of photorealistic. Uh, if you do some work with it, you can make 3D environments. Uh, that have lit shaded objects with real-time shadows, uh, depth of field, motion blur, color grading, lots of different uh, rendering features. Uh, and it also has a fairly advanced physics engine, PhysX, uh, that handles the gravity and the collisions and, and much, much more, all of which are very hard things to program yourself. Um, here's some screen captures from uh, games that they're not terribly uh, exciting, uh, but here let me show you uh, 
uh, one of the demonstration programs from Unity. Uh, this is a huge, uh, huge game that uh, that kind of demonstrates some of the photorealism of Unity, although this is in some ways a little bit cartoon-like. Uh, uh, but it has uh, very advanced lighting uh, physics that lets us blow things up, which of course is fun. Uh, and uh, at lighting with, with uh, lots of different stuff. So uh, this is uh, this is one of their demos that shows off uh, a lot of thing, a lot of features from uh, the the, uh, the programmable pipeline. It's a huge download. It's uh, it's 36 gigabytes. So if you do decide to download this, uh, be prepared to wait a while. Oops, I want that. So let me let me close this. And go back to my slides here. So uh, Unity plays very well with a lot of uh, standard 3D content creation tools, things like Maya, Cinema 4D, Lightwave, Blender. Uh, it also has its own builder tools that let you kind of make things out of cubes and cylinders and spheres. Um, and uh, recently they obtained uh, Pro Builder, which is kind of a uh, kind of like Blender. Uh, it lets you do a lot of uh, fancier building, uh, all within Unity, all with their, their tools. It also works uh, seamlessly with uh, uh, photo editing tools like Photoshop and GIMP uh, to, to, to make 2D textures, which we also use a lot to make things look the way we want to. And uh, all of these assets, uh, things made in Blender or Maya, uh, and textures made in Photoshop or GIMP. All of these are conveniently imported, organized, and managed in the editor's UI. Um, it comes with a lot of built-in or, or uh, easily downloadable tools, uh, uh, things like first and third person character controllers, uh, various types of cameras ranging from sort of simple follow cameras to complex uh, cinema machine cameras that are, are programmable to uh, do various kinds of uh, uh, tricks that maybe we'll get to later. Uh, it has lights, it has uh, physics-based shaders that can uh, make materials that look very, very realistic. And as I mentioned, it has this physics engine for the collisions and gravity and so forth. Uh, it has a powerful terrain editor that lets you basically paint a terrain. Uh, and the standard assets include things like vehicles, with cars and airplanes, and, and much, much more, lots and lots of content. Um, the, a lot of the tools are themselves scripts, uh, some of which you can look at, others which are kind of uh, pre-compiled, but uh, there are scripts that are uh, once upon a time, written in JavaScript, C Sharp, and Boo. Uh, both Boo and JavaScript have uh, uh, disappeared. So we're now uh, limited to C Sharp. C Sharp is the language of choice for Unity. You can read all about that down here in this link. Um, the, the scripts that we'll be looking at, uh, uh, the, the Unity tools that will have available to us are, are completely readable. And, and of course, uh, by the end of the course, they should be writable as, as well. Um, a, a lot of the exercises that are provided by the uh, various tutorials will do, uh, do lean very heavily on scripting. 
uh, because that's how interesting stuff gets done in a game. But even if you're not a very strong programmer, uh, you, you can still create really significant game content using only the prepackaged assets that, that come with uh, Unity. Um, I especially in, uh, encourage you to download uh, the standard assets package that is available on the asset store. This has the first and third person characters. It has various cameras. It has a lot of uh, uh, resources for uh, building terrain and, and trees and grass and stuff like that. Uh, uh, all of which you can download from the asset store. We'll talk about the asset store later. Um, if there's one major drawback to Unity is that there are no up-to-date textbooks for the current version of Unity. And part of this has to do with how fast Unity is moving. Uh, I started this class with Unity 3 in uh, 2010. And since then, the average time between major releases has been about seven months. Uh, and uh, so the printed books really can't keep up. There are a lot of nice books out there, but by the time they make it through the editorial process and get printed, uh, Unity has moved on to another release and, and things change. So uh, my solution to this is to use the Unity manual uh, that comes with the version of Unity that, that you install. Uh, and, and I'm going to, uh, so that'll kind of be our text, the, the online manual that is built into Unity. Uh, uh, and, and we'll use that as our text. Uh, I'll also point you at a lot of Unity training videos. Uh, my assumption here is that Unity keeps their content up to date, sort of. Uh, uh, and so we'll, we'll, uh, we'll, you'll see readings and uh, videos and uh, uh, various assignments from the manual and from Unity's uh, videos. Um, here's the first assignment. Uh, uh, the first assignment has uh, all these different uh, videos that I'm suggesting that you watch. None of them are very long. They range from five to 10 minutes. Some of them are a minute long. Uh, they're, they're quick videos. And in the assignment sheet that's available on Brightspace, you'll find something like this with links that go to uh, the appropriate web page for these. Um, the first assignment is to do these four tutorials that are uh, 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 listed on on Unity. Um, uh, they're very quick. They take about five minutes each to complete. And uh, what I want you to uh, turn in is a screen capture of the page that says done on each of the four tutorials. Uh, all you need to do is turn in the pictures, not uh, not the full game folders. Now. Unfortunately, Unity deprecated these tutorials. This, this link is still active, but the, uh, the, the uh, tutorials themselves are no longer available. Uh, fortunately, I still have copies of them and I've put them on my Google Drive. Uh, on Brightspace, under the Information tab, you'll find an item posted notes and other content for 2021. Uh, and this is a link to my Google Drive. This is where I will post notes for the class, any other content I find that I think you might need. And these four tutorials are there. Uh, this link takes you directly there to get them. Um, uh, I, I will note that you'll only be able to access my Google Drive with this link if you are logged into your main mail account, if you're using some other uh, mail account, uh, it, it won't work. You have to be logged into your uh, main.edu account. Um, a, a, a rather long but very interesting and optional uh, video to watch is Unity Tips. This has a number of shortcuts and hidden tricks that, that make the editor more powerful. 
And this is due next Sunday, Sunday the 31st at midnight. All assignments are due at midnight on uh, Sunday. Uh, I apologize if that ruins your weekend. Um, so um, because Unity is kind of is constantly moving stuff around and deprecating features, uh, I've tried to make as many of these links point directly to the YouTube version. Uh, most of Unity's content is stored on YouTube, uh, but uh, they, the links go directly from their pages. Uh, but uh, I, I, I've tried to uh, provide in the, the homework links, links to the YouTube versions. Uh, hopefully they won't disappear, uh, but I understand that sometimes they do. Uh, please let me know anytime you find a broken link. So uh, the videos and readings are typically no more than an hour or so a week, but of course, uh, working with them and trying things out uh, uh, requires more time than that. Uh, there will be readings from the Unity manual and the scripting reference uh, that complement the video lectures. Uh, and there are weekly homeworks, weekly milestones that, that you have to accomplish. Uh, most of them are fairly simple based on material presented in class or from the readings and videos. Uh, there will be a large final project that will either be a modification of one of uh, the provided games that uh, uh, come from Unity, or of course, a game completely of your own design. I encourage uh, creativity in here, make it up. 